remember it came up because we're like, you need to pull, or drivers need to pull. I don't need to because I'm not a driver, but... Anyway, uh... Yep, we, yep. We're going back to, um... To spring, right? Have we determined that the Dark, the dark Dragons... They didn't actually have anything to do with the winterness. Oh no, no, they Is did. We, they were they doing. Did. They were doing some sort of ritual, but we think actually that if they aren't like maintaining it, it's just going to stop. Like, oh, okay, okay. I was. Uh, I, I I forgot what how that was. Yeah, I forgot. We got that on. information through talking through like the panel to guardian, the guardian yeah. of this tower, who we even actually physically met because they're like trapped in the in the digital world or something. Apparently, they're in, they're in the <laughs> computer. Yeah, it's crazy like, magic I'm st stuff. I'm stuck on the internet. Tron. Yeah. I'm in the <laughs> world of reboot. Reboot! The original <laughs> reboot, not the travesty that was the remake. I didn't even know there was a remake, and I'm going to I'm gonna choose to rem Don't. Yeah, I'm gonna sorry. choose I, to assume that there isn't one. <laughs> I, I apologize for even bringing up that possibility. Okay. It's that bad, huh? Yeah, it's it's a Power Ranger style clone where kids from the real world can digitize oh. themselves into the computers. Oh gosh, so it's it, like Code Lyoko then? Ooh, but, I'm not familiar with that, but I'll just say yes based on the tone that you're using. I mean, Code Lyoko was fine, but it was oh. not. It wasn't reboot, <laughs> but no, re but it was fine. They have it's it on actually real world kids that can digitize themselves into the world of reboot and it it has nothing almost yeah. nothing to do with the original story beyond the so name. code lyoko was sort of weird because it was like there was like a digital bad guy and he would come in and he'd do, he'd do shit that would like fuck up the real world and then they'd go fight him in the digital world <laughs> like kind of and uh yeah the thing though with that show is usually after they solved it, it would like they'd rewind time as well. I don't even remember how. It's been a long time, but it's on Netflix. Uh. I don't recognize the characters, but the art style looks familiar. So yeah, it's yeah. made in France, I guess, if I remember right. Interesting. Uh, all right, hmm. so I were, yeah. okay. we had these doofuses tied up outside the tower at the bottom, so hopefully they we didn't escape. Did. Let's, go, let's go see if they escaped. All right. Did we tie, guys... we tie them to a tree? Why did we tie them to a tree? Because we wanted what? to go back up and talk to the... Uh... Ah, right. Right, 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 right. And they were like, uh, we'll come back. Guru was our, uh, our, our code talk. Yeah. Well, you guys go back down, and they're not there. Okay, they got out. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We need to invest in more um, dimensional anchors, man. I personally thought that that was the best option, because I didn't want to drag them back to the town. Ah, but they need to face justice at the hands of the villagers they have wronged. Nobody uh, else seems to, 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 to like that I mean, idea. I was. We've let every other even, dark dragon. Even the go. villagers don't seem to like that idea. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't remember that, but you're probably right. Like we'll every time back. I do that, here are the people that have wronged you. I present them to you so they may face whatever justice you see fit. And, and they're, they're like, like, "Yeah, we don't want anything to do with them. We don't, don't have a. We don't really we have, don't a have a jail, jail. or any yeah. sort of like criminal reform system at all. So, I guess now we have to do a public execution." <laughs> You're invited. <laughs> like I don't, I didn't, I don't really want to go to the public execution. Thank you. But now I know about it. It's gonna bother me. Ah uh, yes. Um. All right. Well, I guess we'll start going back to spring and seeing if the weather looks like it's improving. Theoretically, they shouldn't. They have to. Well, do we oh. know? Do they have to do the ritual like in the tower? There was the key too. Did we get the key? I don't remember. With, don't think we did. Okay. Um. You guys did not get no key. Uh. We have to go to Gus. They're not Gus. The ritual. You think? Yeah, they were conducting um, it up there in the tower. 
um, as to why you don't know. Maybe seeking more information on that, you you could find out. Um... Oh, well, I have knowledge arcana if I know anything about rituals. Even though uh, I didn't see them do anything. Well, you could also talk to Guardian or communicate with the training council. So the consul that was speaking to you, um, she's there to train you. Um, but uh, that's what there's, that was there's two different programs, there. right? It was us right. training. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what all the floors are. Yeah, that's right. There are two different programs, and were they aware of each other? One was um, aware of the you other. Didn't ask. <laughs> right? No, it wasn't. One was aware of the other one. I, mean, I don't remember which one was which. You you had the impression that Guardian had a conscious. The other one, you don't know. She seemed a lot like the other training consoles that you've spoken to before, where they're just information depositories. Okay. Yeah, the one that we're saving with the robot body knew about the oh, other one. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. We need a body. Um, we need to get a scroll of make coal greater? Make coal, I think that's... Mm -hmm. yeah. I think, I think, like I said, we were told yeah. that we could get one at uh, uh, Tunlin, so we we're yeah. probably going to have to go back there. And we had another reason to go over there anyway, because we met... Uh, the mole guy. The mole guy. Did I write his name dreams. down? Mogu. Was it Mogu? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I wrote it down. Yeah, Tiffany and your brother Mo uh, Mogu. That's funny. I see see Tiffany. I think of the CGP uh, Gray Tiffany video. <laughs> he, he like researched the history of the the name Tiffany and spent like a year researching it. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, I guess in theory though, because I, we were told that the, the dark dragons are doing that ritual up there, but I don't know if they can only do it up there. Like in theory, now that we've freed the, the, like got them out of there, the tower, hopefully, I mean, they might just go back up there and start doing it again, I guess, but I'm hoping that oh, since well. we beat them up, they're going to slink away and not try to come back here. Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, because that's why Guardian needs the body so that the Guardian can actually protect the tower. Right. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, they might be just like hiding out and waiting for us to walk back to Spring and they'll be like, man, go back up there and start doing the ritual again. But I think probably they're going to run off. I, I don't okay, know. Okay, well, that's, 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 that's one good question then. Maybe you can divine or. No, from the looks of person or. From the looks of where they were tied up to the tree, does it look like they just vanished? Or does it look like they ran off somewhere? Like, are there uh... footsteps leading off into the wilderness type thing? Well, uh, the rope looks cut. So it looks like between okay. the four of them, they managed to you know get themselves out of the situation and you do see footprints but then they kind of just go away and you have a pretty good idea that's sure. because they started flying okay fair enough but yes it does seem like they've left the vicinity as much as you're aware okay well we'll see i mean maybe the weather will all will start improving as we're walking back to spring it takes like a day to it's like a day travel, I think, or something. It was Maybe a couple longer. of days in yeah. the snow, yeah, until it thaws out, which might take a while. I mean, does the weather look like it's already improved? Uh, n no. Um, it, you don't see like snow coming out from the tower anymore, and like there's not snow falling. So I guess, in a sense, sort of then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, a little bit. But yeah, there's still it's just a very thick layer of snow, uh, and it's so maybe still I cold the... in the area. So you're not really sure like how quickly it may thaw. Maybe I should have the snowing or uh, rain penalty removed. Also, didn't we re we reincarnated one of them? <laughs> That's funny, actually. 
<laughs> if you can control weather, you might be able to bring out the sun and melt the snow. Uh, I mean, it'll probably sort itself out eventually. Now that the ritual is not happening. Control weather is probably a higher level spell. You can't. It is, it, and yeah. also I'm a monk. Yeah, 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 but I got boy. Yeah. <sighs> Boys with you still technically. I have share memory as a cantrip, which is pretty awesome because it's normally a level two spell. But wait, I just made my map really small somehow. That's a weird. Thing. Not technically a cantrip, but it's a key power that costs zero keys. So I mean, mm. oh, nice. it's basically a cantrip. Yeah. Is it one of those um... like as long as you have one point in your key pool, you can use it? It doesn't even say that. It just says it's a key oh. power that costs zero power that costs zero key. Okay. So there's only a couple of those, but all right. A couple of days pass as you make your way back to spring. Could you press the night's rest button, please? <laughs> just because I use like every spell. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to. It's true. But also, hey, you know, I can force initiatives. How fun. Hmm. Roll all uh, initiatives. Wow. Sure. I mean, I, I usually roll terribly on initiative, so I'm not opposed to that. Uh, <laughs> what I roll for you? I rolled. Oh, I cleared initiatives. You're just going to try the button just to see what it does. I oh, rolled look a 12. At it. it rolled me really low uh... anyway. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But then we don't get to see the little dice animation. But yeah, when, no, well, and, and when each of us do it, we when, get to see it in yeah. chat, and we all know that we're, you know, that people are actually not and paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can force it through the party thing as well, which is. Um... Hmm. Anyhow, has the weather gotten any better over the last couple of days? This is too. Oh, fun. Um. <clears throat> Yes, yes. Uh, uh, as you guys have been traveling, the uh, clouds seem to be clearing, and um, okay. you're starting to see some sunlight. Uh, not enough to really melt the snow, but it's a start. Okay. Well... When we get back to spring in a couple days there, which it sounds like we're skipping straight to. Um, uh, yeah, there's no encounters unless you consider like deer I'll, and rabbits encounters. I'll go punch a I'll go punch a moose. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean I can I mean hey. I can get horses here if you want. Oh. Moose are people too. <laughs> a, a moose bit my sister once. <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> all right so we uh we go back to spring uh mm -hmm. and who is did we talk to like a mayor or somebody in spring i don't even remember I don't yeah, weren't remember. they weren't they, weren't they in the process of abandoning their village no oh, they were considering it they were considering it okay but but they might not have to anymore that's right or if they still want to it might be easier to do that now because the river will be unfrozen because supposedly they have like, supposedly they take boats from spring, and do like like over to Tunlin. And... Well, I think there's a dock somewhere over here somewhere. Like I think this river, this river here goes through the mountains somehow. You find that weird though, perhaps because like you it looks like know it's flowing away you're from the in quite a bit of a higher elevation, so it's like yeah, sure, going down is easy, but how do they get back? Maybe. Well, we will ask them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are in quite a bit of a higher elevation than... Because um... we did boat anyway, so... Yeah. Um, 
Okay, uh, so you guys get there and uh, you see people out and about and it looks like they're kind of like, you know, pushing snow off of some of their, um, remember they were a fishing village, so they had a whole bunch of fishing gear and stuff and mm -hmm. um <clears throat> Anyway, so they're all like, you know, repairing their village, so to say, from the uh, snow. All right, well. And you guys uh, see Marvin out and about uh, helping That's people. That's right, he was the mayor. I actually wrote that down, didn't I? Mayor Marvin? Marvin, the mayor of spring. That's all I wrote about him. But... <laughs> Uh, he's they're elves, most mostly elves here. You do see some half elves, but uh, it does seem to be um, rather elfy here. Oh, okay, I did not remember that. Um, oh, okay, <laughs> we'll go. We'll go talk to Marvin then. Approach okay. Marvin. Marvin says, "Fine day. The clouds have finally let up." I think they should. The weather should be better in the future too really i don't know it the snow could come back though the people that did it they're still out there but we put a stop to this strange ritual they were doing yeah. but people that did it wait what yes but don't worry because we're going to find a more permanent solution it's just going to take us a little bit of time but oh. it should be nicer in the meantime hopefully I don't want Otherwise, to alarm you or anything, but I, I just, you need to stay prepared is all I'm saying. He looks alarmed. <laughs> at the Watch people. out for very uh, finely dressed individuals. Um, okay. So you're saying that like people are, are behind this? Oh, Where's yes. Guardian? Did you meet Guardian? We did. Kind of? I but mean, no I did. I wounded. didn't, but I'm told I'm told that the Guardian was there in the digital world. I don't know if I say the digital world, but <laughs> was there in some in, in some spirit. capacity. The spirit of Guardian still inhabits this tower, but Guardian's body has been wounded, and we have been tasked with restoring it. Yeah, I I talked to my friend Guru Gigi over here. He seems. <laughs> He he know I think he knows more about what's going on here because he was the one that actually talked to the guardian. Yeah, I'll say exactly what my friend said is the guardian's body is wounded, but his spirit has been preserved through some kind of magic. And he tasked us with repairing his body or getting a new body for him to inhabit. Once we do that, then he should be able to protect the tower and prevent those bad people from ruining the weather again. Okay. Right. So the weather might get better, but they might come back. So it might get worse, but you're going to help save guardians so that that doesn't happen. Yes. Got it. But yeah. we do need help getting to um, uh, Tunlin. Tunlin. Oh. And we understand that you have a means to, you, you have boats that can travel the coast and across the ocean. Yes, yes, yes. You know what? And, and for being so helpful and bringing this guy at least back to us, uh, I, you may use them. It would, it would be kind of you, though, to return them. Oh, we are have every intention of returning. I mean, we'll be coming back once we yeah. get the what we need to help the Guardian. Okay. Well, here. Follow me. And he, like, leads you through the village. And he comes up to um, some boats that are, like, under some tarp, so to say. Uh, mm-hmm. And he unveils them, and they look familiar. You've seen boats like this before. Swans? Back in uh, Gust, in the bridge. Oh, inside the bridge. Oh. 
They were like the boats. These were like the ones that were broken inside. Mm-hmm. But they're not. These ones aren't broken. They are. I don't not remember broken. what the broken ones like. Were they? They special? both like sort of vi- Viking vessels, right? Uh, well, not really. Then? Not really Viking vessels. Oh, well, no. yeah. They're more like uh, like a a big enough boat to like seat probably eight people and some a small amount of cargo, like five six large boxes. How how do we get this to the ocean? Um, he says, well, with a simple command word, they fly. However, they only fly to very specific destination. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, oh, there's like some sort of channel or something that they can sail on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess so. They've been around for a very long time. Our ancient ancestors created them. All we have is what's left. We can't create these again ourselves, but uh, oh, so they they're seem very to valuable. Last. Then. Uh, he looks at you like. I no, guess? I'm not planning to sell them or anything. I'm just One saying say irreplaceable. The fact that you're giving them to us is great. Is is very honorable i guess for it like we should feel we should feel honored that you trust us with something so valuable well uh, uh, one of them you guys may use one of them yes but it's it's not something you can replace so we will we will definitely bring it back thank you and and thank you for helping guardian and spring and just yes please help i know you're helping but yes please help (laughs) (laughs) of course it's what i'm here for uh he explains to you that the boat will follow the river um it will fly and hover over the river you don't have to control it um Hmm. if it is going too fast for you you can slow it down um but it will not go any faster than it already goes Okay. Which is going to be yeah, like a regular intriguing. fly speed. Yeah. And so it'll take us down to the ocean where it will sit in the water and then travel like a regular boat? Uh, this boat will actually fly above the water because there are dangerous oh, things within okay. the water. Um, but yes, it does go straight to Tunlin. Um, we think, we suspect that it also goes to a couple of other locations, but we have not figured out how to get it to do so. Hmm. Okay. It makes me wonder if the two in the bridges have some destination that they'll go to now. It explains why they're up there. Yeah, it's intriguing. Does it go to Gust as well? No. Oh, I see. Um, we don't really get much from Gust, but on occasion, sometimes we will venture north to get to Gust and cross the bridge. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. You don't really need the boats to get to Gust. I mean, all Gust really has is apples. They think they're special. I mean, they are pretty good, but... Yeah, they're good. Ugh, you, you don't have to have apples in life, you know? Okay. I can. I don't need to roll sense mode to sense the disdain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, ugh, Gust. Ugh. Gust and their apples. <laughs> it's very, this feels like a, in that sense, feels like an elvish village. Uh, Gust, that's like uh, all, the, the other opposite of spring. The other that other town they're not elves though yeah. <laughs> all right well uh what's the command word to get it to go to uh tunlin oh oh okay uh these 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 people are elves right in spring you said yeah most uh, of them. elves and half elves yeah yeah 
Um, since you, you might have been to Tunlin before, I don't know how often you go there, but would you be able to teach us or show us how we might be able to communicate? We understand that they use song. We've briefly visited them, but we were unable to actually have any meaningful interaction with them. So, oh yeah, it might be a good idea to prepare for that. Mm, okay. they that's pretty understand smart. I hadn't music. thought about that. Do one of you play an instrument? I, uh, uh, I don't um, think any of us well? do actually. <laughs> Oh. I can sing a little bit. Yeah, I don't think they understand. Well, it's not that they don't understand. Actually, we're not even really sure what it is. But if you have an instrument and you play the instrument, they seem to understand everything you're thinking. Yeah, I should have taken one of my skills as like a rank and perform. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it, though. Yeah, but... I've performed sing. I don't have... An instrument, oh. though. Okay, I mean that's um, something. You can always try. What, would you have a flute? I will or sing some. Oh, I'll whistle. Yeah. Uh, some people in town might have instruments. I don't actually go to Tunlin. Of course, you have important things you have to do here, so it makes yes. sense. Um, some of our uh, traders uh, would be probably uh, good people to start with. Uh, certainly. Let's yeah, we should probably we do that before up. we leave because it would be pretty silly of us to go there and then not be able to actually get what we want because we aren't able to ask for it. Especially since that would be the second time we've been there and we already <laughs> know this is a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you guys had a couple of levels to think about it. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't think about those sort of things when I'm leveling <laughs> up. I'm like, I need to get things to kill things. Yeah. How do I punch harder? <laughs> I'm going to get things. Something lets me punch the air and do concussive damage in a cone. Yeah. Build Does around the help? campaign, not a, a build. I don't know. <laughs> I just, it, it, I mean, it's it's reasonable. It just never crossed my There's mind out that way, yeah. well now you gotta deal with it <laughs> yes that is correct yeah, it'll be fine all right we'll uh we'll we'll try to we'll get some point you know point us where some merchants are we can go talk to and i'm sure he'll go find some people do i need to roll like maybe a gather information or something like that to try to do that or I'll just roll one. Is there an instrument they prefer, or do they care? Well, oh, sorry, I had to step away. Um, yeah, go ahead and gather information. I rolled pretty low, but I got a really good modifier on diplomacy. So. I also rolled pretty low. <laughs> you have even better uh, modifier in your diplomacy. <laughs> you have higher charisma than me. That's probably where that's from. I do have high charisma. I think I have like a five mod. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. And then also, um, yeah, go ahead and roll diplomacies. Uh, that was what I rolled. Oh, uh, then you can roll gather information. If that you is want. diplomacy. <laughs> gather information. Oh, oh God. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. My brain. I think they were. I think brain they were different thought. skills in third edition. At least three O. I think they were. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, you guys don't in... Uh, well, okay. Gigi. You run into somebody who seems a little kooky, a little mad. You know, their hair is all frizzy. Their clothes are all in disarray. And they talk really frantically. And they were like, Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Arya. Arya. Arya got invaded. Did you hear? Uh, and then they and then they wander off and do some kooky, crazy, weird stuff. Um, and then the rest of you guys uh, find the merchants, and they will uh, explain to you that they use 
their instruments and they show you what they have and they don't oh, seem right. to be very good at yeah playing that actually is probably all. a direct consequence to what we did because they're like we didn't take the uh their you know their light orb thing there like hey you know it's helping them out a lot but probably they invaded and took it <laughs> so, yeah you know see we 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 do reverse psychology we let the dark dragons collect all the keys, and then <laughs> we just have to beat up one person. <laughs> and then, then beat them up and take them back. Well, we let we make sure we have to make sure we have one, so they can't do any. Oh, whatever fair enough. Fair enough. At first. least I'll, yeah. I'll accept that. And then and then yeah, after that though, it's like ah, eh, whatever. Like <laughs> we can get them all at the same time. Yeah, it's just like the dragon balls. Like well, we got we got of two of them. them. Right, we got two of them ourselves, right? We have the yes. one from Bleak, yes. and we have like another one, or you guys got one without me, I think. But Oh, actually, have we have three? three. Yeah, you have oh, the have Scepter, you have Boys. the Dagger, and the Book. Yeah. Boy's Scepter. Oh, okay. I was only there for Boys. one of those. You already had Maser. those two when, you, when I met yeah, you. So. Yeah, yeah. But Boy's yeah. been the, running around with the Suzerain Scepter, which is a key. Yeah. No, okay. The, uh, I didn't know that. That's a pretty cool item, though. It gives it Blast is, to all yeah. his summons automatically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The dagger was the very first one we got. Um, it's also weirdly enough the one you we don't the use it. You used it. We used it once. We used the ability once, yes, but I don't use it in a fight because it oh, has it's fragile. It fragile, and it's like yeah. I don't know what'll happen if it breaks. So <laughs> yeah. So I'll just earthquake things with it. I yeah. was so happy when I got to use that. And uh, yeah. yeah, we don't really need to stab people with it anyway. No. And then we got the book, wasn't it? The book of something that... It's like a book. It's like a tome that increases an ability score. You can use it as many times as you... Well, you can use it on multiple people. Um, I don't yeah. know if you all used it yet, but... I don't know, actually, if, <laughs> if you guys even did that, but yeah. I think somebody read it. Which one was it? Was it a wisdom one? It was a wisdom one, I believe. So I think Boy read it. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has yet, but I mean, you know, it's I'll I'll read it at some point. But wisdom doesn't mm. actually help me that much. Saves, uh, improving my will, will saves, saves and my perception. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it doesn't help me as much as it would a normal oh. monk. I will be right back. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so the merchant says that they like they play these instruments and they show you they just have various instruments and they say they don't play very well, but as soon as you start playing, they seem to be able to communicate with you. They don't understand it, but it, yeah. Hmm. What's the easiest instrument you have to, to play then? Uh, this here, a little guitar. I don't know that that's that easy to play. Nah, you just do this and he strums it and it sounds like shit when he does it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if that's all you have to do, I guess I could manage. Hmm. I will tell you, though, they do seem to favor people who are better at playing than others, but yeah, if you need to talk to them, this, this should do the trick. But it's you can't so, have this. This is mine. It's and so weird. It I'm normally really good at talking to people, but I don't know if I'll be good at talking to these people. Well, that sounds like a personal problem, boy. It really is. But maybe outside of the song, this will lead to some other way to get through to them. How much do you want for that guitar? I, I, I'm I not selling it. It was my grandpa's. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Do you have something you'd be willing to part with? Um, no. Do you know somebody in town that would have an instrument that they'd be willing to part with? I don't know, man. You're going to have to ask them. Okay, but who should I ask? Don't you have, like, a merchant cabal or something? I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, here. Here. 
Here, let, like me, let me take you over. Ball. <laughs> let me take you over to Joe's place. He um he leads you uh, to some other people, and uh, okay. you get start asking around if there's any instruments to purchase. And the only thing that you guys could find available is a lute. All right, I'll buy it. How much is it? How much does it cost? Fifty gold. Fifty whole gold. All right. Well. It's my only loot, but I don't plan on going to Tunlin again. But still, it is my only. I mean, loot. that's fair. I'll I'll pay the fifty gold for the over the overpriced for. Is it at least like a really nice loot? Yeah, actually, the loot okay. does look pretty nice. All right, I'll buy it. So we have something to communicate with if singing doesn't work. <laughs> that's. Fair. Um. I gotta pull up my calculator app, and oh, I already have my calculator app open. Look at that, I'm smart. Uh, what was I calculating on here? Huh? What is this number? Oh, I was calculating how long it would take me if I saved four dollars a day. How long it would take me to get to thirteen million? No reason. Nineteen million. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Anyway, uh, two five oh nine minus fifty. All right. Mhm. Yeah, it's like masterwork quality loot. Okay. You don't know if it's like tuned, but yeah. I yeah, Fran probably has no um no sense of of tune. Like he's he's uh tone deaf. <laughs> but you know, that's fine. Maybe uh, Guru Gigi has some musical training, so maybe he can help me. Uh, we'll see. Maybe. You say it's a masterwork instrument. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, it was a good deal then, because those are technically worth a hundred gold. Supposedly. Uh perform this would be a string instrument. Um lute. Alright. I have I have uh a musical instrument that I don't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. But it will give me a bonus to perform on it plus Plus two circumstance bonus on perform checks made to perform with this instrument. Uh huh. Um, and it's a charisma based skill. So even though you normally cannot make a perform check untrained, oh, I might, I might just, uh, you know, do, I might try to wing it. Actually, can you do performed untrained? I don't remember. Maybe it's one you can. What does it say here? I think for like the sense of getting like paid or getting a crowd to act and react to you, you can't. But but I will be able to in this for game. That. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I was hoping somebody would put a point in them. I mean, and Gigi does have a point in singing, and and that might work, you know. And uh, yeah. So. Well, I got a I got a fancy uh a fancy loot now, so I will thank uh thank him very. You know, thank you. Hopefully this will let me get through to them. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't think I have anything else I need to do in spring, but. Okay. Boy, I'll probably stock up on provisions, food, um. They don't have much, but, um. And uh, is ready to go whenever you guys are. Yeah, Hello. sure. Hi. Yo. Anything new? Uh, uh, I bought loot for fifty gold. Yeah, a friend bought a mass mass work loot. Loot. Mm-hmm. He oh. got the loot. Oh my god! I, I don't know how to play it, but you know I have it. I want okay. the loot. Does loot? 
I loot the bodies. <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to that phrase. Any any improvised weapon players? <laughs> <laughs> I loot the bodies. I need okay. When we do a fun in, campaign, I'm gonna in, do an improvised weapon. I loot the bodies. Character. In Lost Ark, the bard has a has a harp that shoots arrows. Nice. All right. Okay. Don't you, we we can't talk about Lost Ark. Okay. Don't, Actually, don't get that's me right. started. You, you play Lost Ark, so you know what I, the bard does. Okay. I do not know what the bard does. Fair enough. Because I don't. I play paladin. Ah, oh, my friend plays paladin. Oh, right. The bird tangent. Okay. Back to uh, you. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys, um, I guess you're probably going to rest the evening before you go or just go whatever you want to do. I have 130 hours in Lost Ark. Any other things you want to do in town? This town? Remember, they're kind of low on like resources. Yeah. Natural resources. I don't well, does somebody have a drum? We need just much. a quick drum? A cheap drum, not a masterwork drum. Mm, you could probably make something with drums, though. Sure, then. I will spend the rest of the day and into Aren't the evening an trying to uh, cobble together a drum. A Did you fish. have engineering? Yeah. I have engineering. There you go. I'll yeah. cut my own wood. I'll craft my own tools. There you go. Yeah, you, some stuff. You make shift yourself a drum given what's I rolled three 18s in a row. Ah, nice. My my luck is done for the night. Do they want a cold resisted cold resistance banded mail? All right, you have drums, but they're not masterwork. That's fine. That's fine. As long as they count as an instrument. Uh, were you saying that there's still loot? Uh, I mean, there's some stuff that we have. Oh, do we have stuff that we need to identify? That's that's the real question. I think we did. Probably. Uh, is it still in the party sheet? No. I didn't see anything in the party sheet. I'm looking. But I think maybe it's on Guru Gigi's like sheet <laughs> he might have some unidentified stuff in there that need to be identified uh, did i i don't have anything on my sheet that's unidentified maybe we actually identified everything old iron bastard sword parentheses magic that okay i see yeah, yeah they say they have yeah, yeah we have things okay we should try to maybe do some spell craft checks yes we should okay so you want me to put this in the party sheet right Okay, I that, will okay. auto assist in your spellcraft check. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm gonna something drink real fast. We we have a few. <laughs> uh, those are the things we don't know what they are that I have. So here's five spellcrafts. Yeah, great. I didn't roll above a seven. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Uh, this this is why we can't have nice things, guys, because I can't identify them. Oh, geez. These are, those are some I didn't rolls. roll above a seven. <laughs> that's, a, that's a D20. It's not a D8, a I D8 promise. Uh, or a D10. Oh, my God. They have those uh, more days. As, as a physical dice you can get. It's like a it's like a cheating dice, basically. Uh, you could use this like a GM where it looks like a D twenty, but it's actually a D ten. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have here. <laughs> yeah, you have the the one. Secret that, like, hit the give player a D ten that looks like a D twenty <laughs> yeah. button. It's just a D ten on a double like it's a D twenty, but it's got the low the low rolls twice. Twice, yeah. yeah. The thing is, is if if anybody looks at them, they'll realize like, hey, what the like, it'll look like There's a rollout. No... 
it'll look like a roll down like magic the gathering wife total dice because all the they'll be like if, even if you only look at one side be like why are all these numbers clustered together they're all the same because normally yeah. they try to distribute them so that the ones people the think 20. it's more random <laughs> well you you kind of have to because otherwise if you're if you're skilled you can uh, if you practice at it you, you can actually on that side yeah you can you can direct it so the dice always lands on the side that's why that's why it's kind of like bad to if you're in an in-person game well it's kind of like bad form to bring up mtg life total spin down dice because like you could theoretically cheat with it but realistically i anytime i've ever had somebody use one i'm like i don't i don't care i trust like i play with people that i trust to not be cheating i mean if if they're rolling high every single time i might like, be like you need to stop fucking using that mtg roll down dice yeah. <laughs> or like every time it matters yeah uh, I can't remember what the t- caster level is for just enhancement bonuses to weapons. It's per th- plus three per enhancement bonus, I believe. Per plus three, yeah. So if it's a plus three weapon, it'd be in enha- and that's all it has. It'd be a plus. It'd be a caster level nine, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's the scale. Put it could this be way, I rolled bad, so it could be four as well. But let me let me double check. See if I can find it real fast. But yeah, I think it's three. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't find it quickly, so was, um, maybe not looking in the right area. Uh, but we're gonna be sailing, so we should have many days to do this. I hope. Well, you guys walked back to the tower or from the tower, so there's a couple of days. Yeah, I didn't um, know if you want me to retroactively roll those or not, since I didn't say I did it at the time. Well, what's your modifier? Okay, yeah, yeah, I found uh, this. Caster level for weapons. Jet, well, the caster level of a weapon with a special ability is given in the item description. For an ability with o- for an item with only an enhancement bonus and no other abilities, the caster level is three times the enhancement bonus. Um, and I believe that applies for armor as well. So if it's something with enhancement bonus, caster level three. If it's a plus okay, so one, if, six if it's a plus one, it's only three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I'm sorry, is there a dream? What was your uh, bonus? A 12. It's a 12. Yep. Okay, one second here. Okay. So the 19 identifies a plus one cold iron bastard sword. The second 19 does not identify the chain shirt. The 15 does not identify anything, uh, or the 13, and the 17 definitely does not identify the staff. Yeah, so do you want me to roll for the other days we were traveling from the tower? Uh, sure, roll, roll another set. Okay. Yeah, well, we started the, off better. The 31, you know, it's a plus two light fortification change. Nice. That's pretty good. That's nice. I don't know if anybody can use it, but. Mm. And uh, then. Change um, shirt. I'm pretty sure I could. The 20 is not enough for the. Oh, yeah, girl could do that. I'm wearing a plus two enough. agile breastplate. 18 is not enough. So, you so that might three. be better then. Mine's better, I think. Um, boy really might good. be able to use that too, but I'm not sure. It's is he not a metal? Druid? He, he is a druid. Right? Yeah, yeah. He, I guess yeah. he can't. Yeah. Do I have another day secret? I can't do it because I'm today. I'm not allowed to wear armor. Yeah, okay. Today's. Yeah. Okay. There, there's more reasonable. Okay. Um. An 18 for the staff. Hopefully probably we still don't have that. Yeah, we probably still you don't have still the don't know what the belt is. And really, a 26? Know what the rod is. And the staff. Let me double check the staff. That belt has to the be. The belt has to be really stage. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the staff. 
15 plus... Yeah, so you know that it's a staff of curses. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I don't have it filled out, but let me copy and paste that now for you. Probably in an archives of Nevis as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's that. It has blindness, deafness, one charge, ill omen, one charge, bell pull, polymorph, two charges, bestow curses, two charges. Uh, however, it's only cast at level nine, so its DCs are going to be based on that, which um, I can tell you what that is. So wait, this is no, no. It's a staff. It's the the DC is based off of your caster like stat. Yeah, that's the power of the oh, staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your okay, intelligence yeah, yeah. level, your intelligence, sure. or your casting stat, and your yeah. Yes. Okay. Also functions wow. as a plus one plus one quarter staff. Um, and whenever you strike creature with it, you can expend one charge to cause creature to become cursed for a number of rounds equal to the number of charges remaining on the staff. While it, oh, that's kind of a cool ability. So I don't remember how staffs work. Like, theoretically, I could just use this as a monk weapon. I say, can anyone use a staff? I can't. As... I wouldn't be able to use the actual charges on it, but I think I'd be able to use the other part it's... of it that it's got here, where when you hit them, they become temporarily cursed. Does that does that require a charge to be expended? No. Oh no, because you're not casting a spell. That's just an ability of the staff. Huh. Granted, one of the abilities the staff gives is it makes it so they get penalty to saving throws from spells cast from the staff. So if I'm not casting spells from the staff, I don't get right. that part. But minus two penalty AC after I hit them with it. I don't know. That's not too bad. Yeah. What determines who can use a staff? They just have to be able to cast. Uh... The spells like the spell has to be way. from their book, from their spell list. Spell list. It's on their from spell their list. list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. So I'm looking at this. Is it's like they have spells from different classes, right? Yeah. You have blindness, deafness on the cleric list, and also bestow curse. So I think you'd be able to use this thing. I could use those two, but yeah. the other ones are like psychic witch mesmerist. For, oh, is it a witch staff? I, I was going to say, this I bet you it's a witch staff. staff. Yeah, it's a yeah. witch staff. I would say okay. it's a witch staff. But I was you trying can to figure out what the common on class was with there. Yeah. yeah. You, you can still use the spells that are on it, although if you don't have those spells, you can't recharge it. So, Does it have its full charge? Oh, charges I have to have right? those specific spells to recharge it? Uh, I no, can't just you just it need to be able to pass a slot. This, but yeah. You, you just have to have the right spell. level of spell. I thought okay. you just expended a slot. Yeah. 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 Okay. I stand corrected on that. So yeah, you can but use it for bestow curse and blindness deafness. I think you have to expend a spell level equal to the highest spell level in the staff. But I don't think there's a restriction on it having to match anything in the staff. You just have to give up the spell yeah, slot. Yeah, I think that's right. So. But then you're going to be giving up like a fifth level spell to charge I, up a yeah, staff how, you can only well, use a third level spell from. How but does still. that work then? Because it's yeah. I guess it's a witch staff, so the highest spell is witch five. So it's fifth level spell. Is that yeah? Baleful that, polymorph that, or ill omen? No, so uh, baleful polymorph. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, is five. Which is like it's a cleric oracle three, so I that's weird. Yeah, I mean it might be something nobody really can use in in this party, but well, Fran, you you can actually flurry with that, right? Because the stuff. Oh yeah, is a yeah, that's weapon. what I'm saying. I can flurry with this thing, and it gives a minus two penalty to AC after I hit him with it. I don't think that's actually better than me just punching, um, punching things, but but you can you know, poke you him with the staff. staff. You could poke them with a staff to give them the penalty and then, like, kick them. True. Yeah. Although, I do less damage if I kick than when I punch, because I actually have plus one hand wraps as a ah, weapon. Okay. So, so um, anyway. Mm, but, yeah. Curious. Interesting. It's, uh, it isn't technically an option. I could, I could. Well, you know what? I can use it. Mm -hmm. It's a stick. 
And I'm I'm all those, good with those spells are on your spell list, list too, or most of and, them are. Yeah, I probably have a wider range than Guru does. Is Ill Omen on your spell list? Um, no, that's not a wizard or sword. That was only Ill or only Witch. It witch was psychic. Witch, psychic Mesmerist. Okay, but the other ones all are. Are the other ones all Sork Wizard? I think they are. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Doesn't matter to me. If someone wanted, doesn't want to use it, I would use it for the two. But if you can use it for three, go for it. Sure. I will. Does it have full charges right now, or is it missing charges? Uh, it is missing. Um, oh, that's right. They, u- they used it, I believe. And one they fought us. charge. It's missing one charge. Okay, so it's got nine charges. Uh, it's missing a bestow curse because yeah, he tried to. Oh, so it's missing two that. charges it's then. Two charges. Yeah. At eight out of ten charges. Yeah, yeah. Can can you recharge it yet, Star Fox? Um, I will. I can't. Take a look. Because I I don't have fifth level spells. You'd have to have a fifth level spell, which if you're normal sort, hmm. you would be. Uh, no, I'm speed, level four. Right? So it'd be next level. We would be able to recharge it, and uh, either of us could recharge it. I think. Aaron, I believe that's going to roll spellcrafting. Spellcrafting. Uh, <laughs> you assist GG to identify the belt. Uh, oh, he was which... uh, auto assisting on all the rolls because he auto succeeds. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I didn't catch that note. He, but sorry. That's yeah, no, yeah, apologies. Really good, but, um, you might have been not there, yeah. Okay. And so you guys identify the belt as a belt of physical might plus four. You know, I think that Guru Gigi needs... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And this one is Dex and Con. I don't seem to have that in there, but that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. So, if it was strength uh, con, I'd be like, gimme, gimme. But Well, still, like, the one <laughs> melee physically person in the party should take it, right? Like, what's I, your I guess belt, it's still you know? good for me. I don't have a belt, actually. Yeah, I'll take it. If, if we get one that is strength, or, like, pretty good, then you can just give that one to whoever. Like, dex and con okay. for health and AC is good for anyone, but I feel like yeah. you are the best person to use it until you get one that's more perfect for you. Okay, well, I'll take it for now then. Yeah, I'm I'm transitioning to my backline caster role where I'm not running in first, hopefully, too much. Uh, So yeah, you need to sacrifice a level 5 spell slot to add one charge. So until next level, I can't recharge it. And anyone who can cast one of those spells That's can right. recharge it. That's Wait, right. Does that mean boy could recharge it? Are there any druid spells on there? I don't think there are. No. Because he would be at the... He should have fifth level spells. But you're right. Right now, it is just a... Uh, it's got some charges on it, and it is... And it's a plus one quarter staff with the uh, debuff with the when you hit people. And, and you're running in melee, so you can hit you... people with it. Yeah, you can just. It still takes a charge to do the the it minor didn't. curse, but that's fine. Say it did, it did it? Oh, it does say that you can expend one charge to cause a creature to become cursed yeah. for the oh, okay. remaining on the staff. So the debuff does cost, but yeah. But there's no saving throw against that. Although it's yeah, only attacks crazy, made actually. against or attacks made by the staff. So yeah, you probably won't use that a whole lot, but. Uh, Minus two penalties against any tax me, but oh, that that I mean, is kind I, of unfortunate. Uh, I was thinking about you if know, you could debuff other people. But, yeah, if you could yeah. debuff it to like make it easier for me to hit people, that'd be really cool. But... Can you? Oh well, that's fine. Can you use that effect if you deliver a touch attack with the staff, or can you not deliver a touch attack with a melee weapon like you that? You would have to be some weird uh, Magus class to be able to do that. Well, I mean, you're casting bestow curse from the staff. Oh well, Does then you want to do your hand, or uh, no? Do you the, I would the say staff? you would get the they would get the minus two penalty to AC against the touch attack from the staff because you're using. I mean, you're casting the spell from the staff, and they if would get the minus two penalty to the saving throw. 
and you've already spent an extra charge in order to do this. Oh, so. okay. No, I'm saying could you do them at the same time? It says strike an opponent with the staff. If I'm delivering a touch spell by hitting you with the staff... If you were a Magus, sure. You'd have to be a Magus to do that? Okay. Yep. So if, if you cast a touch spell you, from the staff, it goes This is actually probably a still. specially decent... Well, I don't know, though, if <laughs> the these... Staff Magus archetype? I, yeah, but I don't know if these spells are actually on the Magus. I guess if you took the Arcana that puts one of these spells... You from, pull, the wizard from, list, from the wizard from... list onto it, and you're playing a Staff Magus... Probably pretty it, fucking it'd be good. Be like a god weapon, yeah. I mean, I don't even think it'd be a god weapon. It'd just be, it'd just be nice. Good, yeah. It'd just be nice. I don't even know if it'd be good. It'd just be kind of cool. <laughs> like, probably not even that good, but nice at least. Yeah. Anyways, cool. We know what items are. Did we get everything, or did we miss one? We missed the rod. We don't know what the rod does yet. But but I think we're gonna yeah. travel. Let's let us travel. Yeah. Let us be off. We're on a boat, so there's less chance that we'll run Yo, into danger. We're on a boat. Yeah. And it's we're going flying. Fast and yeah. I've got a nautical themed pe- uh, Pashmina Afghan. <laughs> yeah. Something <laughs> like that. How that goes. I don't know the actual words. I Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> something about Neo. It, but... <laughs> what? Right? Isn't the next line like something Neo, then you're sure not Mio or something like that? Oh, maybe. Uh, I started something. I apologize, Secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Okay. You guys get on the boat and you tell it to go to Tunlin. I'm going to go stand we at the front of the, the boat. magic word. I will stand behind you and do the Titan. No, I'm kidding. You're too short for that. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys have a good feeling that this is probably going to take, like, maybe even a week of travel across the okay. ocean. Oh. And okay. Surely I will succeed at the spellcraft check. Oh, yeah. yeah. By this point, you guys can take 20 and on that. Um, <laughs> yes, at some point. It's <laughs> taking 20 days. You guys identify this as a lesser quicken metamagic rod. Okay, that's wow. very powerful. Oh boy! Only can quicken spell levels one through three, but still absurdly, and three times a day, but absurdly good still. So that's well, why you couldn't see, identify so it. So Star Fox got the staff, and Pluto got the belt. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's yeah, it's good on it's good on any of our three casters. Any I of the three. Know. It's, it's awful on me, um, but technically, technically, I don't actually think spell like abilities well, work with it. Boys are already holding things, I think, so his hands but... aren't exactly a fruit. That's fair, yeah. Also, True he's not here for me because <laughs> I have a staff. Also, mm. is it your bonded object or something? Yeah. yeah. Well. Not that I want to get too greedy, but it would mean that in the first round I can raise all of my weird odd defenses yes. much quicker. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fine with you taking it, because I did the oopsie with my build where I rely on his staff as my bonded object. So if he wants to cast a spell, his, both his hands are occupied, and then it's like, crap, I can use this. <laughs> yeah, I need to look at that. Is there, how do I get around this? Uh, third hand. Yeah, yeah become like alchemist and get like a tentacle. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Whatever that spell was, turn into a a different race that has a tail, a prehensile yeah, tail. There you go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, no, right. you, Starfox, you can take it. So there are ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that one spell that lets you put a rod inside your staff. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. We were talking about that with Whiz Pops. I don't think I, it was on it. my list. Yeah, but I don't think you ever did. I think it, it was but... like Sword Staff or something like that. It's like Aerodin okay. Sword Staff or something weird like that. I don't. Yeah. Well, I know there's one for wands. You put a wand in, in a sword. I think it is. This you was can... one where like, you could put Vegas. technically like any one handed weapon or something inside of a staff and or okay or maybe it was specifically a rod i don't remember 
It's like a third level wizard spell, I think. But anyways. It's all good. Uh, I will be support. What else do I do on the boat? I'm used to low econ as support player. I uh I write in my I write in my good deeds journal. I do that. Uh other than that, I probably am bored <laughs> for a lot of the journey. I am yeah. on board. I'm kinda stuck the on ship. this small I do uh it's not that big of a boat. I get into like Pluto, a workout Pluto, routine. Pluto. Hmm? You can practice your loot. True, but I'm really bad at it. I can practice my drums with your loot. Like I, I start oh, trying God. to do it, and he starts doing that, and then like Guru G and crazy. Boy are like, "Stop this! I cannot I, deal with this any longer." <laughs> I allow each of you to have one hour a day where you practice. <laughs> okay, and I'm like, I'm like looking forward to it like all the time. I'm like pull out my pocket <laughs> sundial. I'm like, <laughs> is it time yet? I mean, if you really wanted to do more, I'd be okay. But I, I request one hour a day for peaceful, quiet meditation where people don't talk. Okay. And then you get one hour a day of jam. Hey, that's not, that's not too bad. Look at that. I, I do I do okay. With my masterwork loot, it sounds a little better. Yeah, we're, we're, we're reasonable. I, I may try and sing with you one time. Just because I want to roll a die. Just so you can shame us with your actual... Actually, yeah, you're not that not much bad. better than this. I only have one rank in <laughs> Okay, that's fair. Just because we got a free skill rank from one of the dragon things, I think. There and we go. We got a bag. skill. You know, I where I grew up, we didn't really have much music. I can tell. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like we're natural. All we need now is to get um, to get boy to summon us some you know forest animals that can accompany us in the background. We have a Disney little Disney skit going. Guys, on yeah, it'll boy, be like Shrek, where Fiona makes. Boy doesn't know fun. how to talk, but that's maybe, why he summoned animals. Maybe he can sing. We considered this Ooh, right. It's different. It's like verbal components for spells are different. <laughs> Man, true. Boy, Matt missed a bad session. To, to miss because he doesn't get the quick and med magic round. <laughs> he wouldn't use it. Well, no, it'd, it'd be decent on him too because you could use it on uh, you can use it on summons and get quick and summons. Can you? But he would have to put a scepter down. A first level, or may not one turn of one round casting. I believe so. You, one round is the cap on what you can put on quick and I believe. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. I just wasn't um, sure. But, but you can't, like, powerful. you can't do. You Wait, can't does do... that make it a swift action? Yes. You quicken restoration. So... <laughs> what? You can't quicken restoration. That's, That's so <laughs> broken. Yeah, but you, I mean, it'd be only level three be a cap on it, so it's not as good on summons. You can't get like high level fair summons. Enough. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, because yeah. he's usually summoning like with higher. Spell That's slots. true. It would be good. But he'd be able to do his. He'd be game. able to do his buffs and stuff like that. But the thing is, Star Fox does so many more of those that. Yeah, no, I it think probably, Star Fox I think it actually makes probably sense. is the best on Star Fox. Like, yeah, on, you're yeah, right. I, more I, more than one full round action cannot be quickened. Yeah, so uh, you you could quicken summons with this, which I, yep. yeah, that's interesting. Okay, a week of endless hovering over yeah. the ocean. I try not actually playing... touching the ocean passes. I try to play my best rendition of how far I'll go as we're on the loot as we're, as we're going there. All right. And uh, land ho! You guys are starting to see Tunlin um, appearing in the distance. And it's on fire! No, I'm kidding. Uh, no. That'd be fun, though. Um, Would it? Yep. <laughs> okay, let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys finally arrive on shore and start to step into the city, unless you have alternative option motives. Alternative motives? Yeah. We skulk around the edges. We go into the sewers. <laughs> They'll never suspect. <laughs> 
All right, and it just looks like uh, angels going about doing whatever they want. Every once in a while, you'll see a different race, like a cat folk or um, you know a halfling and a gnome or whatnot. They're very sparse and few. Uh, they all seem to have like an instrument that they're carrying around with them as well. Well, Fran, do you want to try and strike up a conversation with one of these individuals? I'll do my best, but I'm still not very confident that it's going to work. Well, right. let's give it a shot. I also don't know if I'll be able to understand them back. I was wondering about that myself. But, but we'll see. Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll go over and try to communicate. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Um, I'll try to communicate that I'm looking for a scroll of make whole. That's what we're looking for, right? Or greater make whole. Okay. Go ahead and strum your loop. All right. I'm going to go up into the middle of the town and start playing my best rendition of, of how far I'll go. Where do I find practice. the scroll of make whole? <laughs> yes. And, and I'm communicating was... this question with my rendition of how far I'll go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to roll it as a charisma check with a plus two bonus. I rolled oh, a one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'm really nervous. Yes. Um, the angel that you're mostly communicating to. The one person who stopped to, like, check out my, my song. He seems to, like, look at you, and in your head, you just hear, like, him scoffing. And then he mm. walks away. Okay. I think I got through to them. I consider that a success. You you, you heard his scoff. That's impressive. That's progress. I didn't say that, but yes. That's... Oh, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Like when he left, he communicated with me his disdain for me. But that is something. We're yeah. making progress here, people. <laughs> um Okay. I guess we'll try again. I mean I could try finding a shop specifically. I'll wander around. Yeah. And- looking for a place, looking at the little signboards, and maybe one of them has a depiction of, like, a, you know, a scrivener, or like, whatever. Okay. Something, yeah, something that. Oh, it still has me at the rain penalty. Yeah, I was going to say, your water's still dripping oh, over your no. eyes. <laughs> Is it raining in Tunlin? Yeah, yeah, it's raining right now. Just <laughs> It's a wet season. <laughs> right, there's a typhoon blowing through. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't go over that. The weather forecast today is raining. No. Um. Okay. You do find some imagery that might kind of look like paper. All right. I'll go in there and ask. Okay. I'll, I'll push open the doors. I'll look for who looks like maybe a shopkeeper and make eye contact with them and pull out my loot and just stare at them while strumming completely no clue what I'm doing. (laughs) But I'm going to hope that my confidence pulls me through. Is there any way I can assist? Do you have Uh, an instrument? I put a plus five. That should be be a little lower. But I mean, you can also play an instrument. I put a plus five instead of a plus two. I'll try and help them. This band comes into the store. That's a try. So um, that should be actually a 12, not a 15. I put plus 5 instead of plus 2 on accident. Because I was thinking my total modifier instead of the plus 2 from the masterwork. Okay, and what are you guys thinking? You're thinking, I'm thinking where is scroll? I'm looking for a scroll of greater make whole. There's a song right there. Of the Your spell. poet didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking for a scroll of greater make whole. Okay. Um the it's shopkeeper arrived, uh Half you both Aaron Axis and friends, you can hear in your head Oh 
Oh, how cute. You guys are trying to play instruments. Oh, I do appreciate that so much. Wow. Be careful, though. Some of the people in town, they're going to make fun of you. You guys should practice some more. Um, I don't sell scrolls, but I know somebody who does. Uh, can you introduce us or tell us where he is? I probably could do that. But would you guys like to stay for dinner? I haven't had guests in a I long would love time. to stay for dinner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I, yeah. would, I would love to stay for dinner. That sounds great. Okay. And so. I look nervous, but I'll go along <laughs> with it. You think, like. Just... You've asked the right person. Um, You guys gotta roll, like, maybe a sense photo. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yay. If I think there's something fishy, I might change my mind, but like most likely I'm like all on board for that. No. Um, friend, you don't think anything's fishy. You're getting the sensation that she's reading your thoughts, not what you're saying. Mm hmm. Um,. And then, yeah, she says, uh, in your heads, uh, would your friend like to come? And she speaks in Gigi's head as well. And boys. Uh, I mean, I hope so. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you for your hospitality. We need a place to stay. Normally, I do something in return for a place to stay, but... I mean, we could talk about that at dinner, if there's anything I could do to help you, since you're helping us. Oh, she says, oh, yes, I have beds, and I have boxes that need to be moved. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, I'm really good at moving boxes. I can help you with that. She knew exactly what to, to <laughs> offer you. She read my mind. Yes. <laughs> Quite literally. Uh, that's funny. All right, um, so you guys stay for dinner, and um, she seems to be very curious uh, about your guys' just existence in the city. Is there anything that you guys wanted to try to discuss with her? And if her for name? any reason your guys' thoughts are not reflecting what you're saying, do tell me, because she may be able to determine that. Yeah, you might have to roll bluff to hide it. <laughs> yeah. It's probably pretty tough because she has this yeah, telepathy I, ability. But if you're yeah, really good at bluff, too. I am not. I mean, Fred's like really gregarious and like open with people. So like he's probably like all answering like any question she has. Like, oh, yeah, we we were in spring and like we went to Gust and we, you know, like he's telling her like he's like, I don't see. Yeah, anything. whatever. He could be a fine. dark dragon spy and he would just tell her everything. Mm -hmm. What's She's the worst that could happen? by your adventures. Yeah. So oh, unless somebody like you know, does, yeah. tells Fran to stop, but <laughs> we nah. also I don't. We also have encountered somebody that has been stuck in a horrible dream, and we were under. We were told that. Are you somebody playing from this on might your be able to help? Or can we talk? I think like I think like me and. And Aaron Axis can because like by just by playing the music, she gets like enough. She gets some sort of an understanding of us or like empathy with us. Where I think at that point, right? But I'm saying like we're sitting down at dinner and playing musical instruments. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. just a drum. Yeah. The I mean, okay. In fact, I take a glass of water and start like you know. Using I look very on uncomfortable with the situation. <laughs> I run yeah, my finger along the edge of it to make a ringing noise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That tells something, right? <laughs> um, she says. I roll a stealth check because I don't want to be noticed. He cringes under the table, just mm. you know, shuts down. I just disappears. don't want. I don't want attention. It's on like me. this is the worst dinner I've ever been to. There's <laughs> all these like instruments. Being Fran's over here, like and... just, just like no, yeah, yeah. Run his finger along the edge of a glass and try to think at her. Like, uh, does that work? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is uncharted territory. It's the weirdest dinner I've ever been to, but he's, I'm having the time of my life. 
<laughs> All right. Um, you ask her about the dreams and she says that, um, oh, only the princess knows how to do that. Hmm. I mean, she... I was able to to see Mogu's dreams, but I wasn't able to interact with him. I couldn't reach him all the way. It was a one way one way communication, you might say. But this princess, I suppose we might have to practice our music before we can talk to her, though, right? I I, I assume she only meets the finest of practitioners of music would she be open as someone to of status audience with outsiders particularly outsiders mm. that are bad at music i don't know about that you didn't hear it from me but she's <clears throat> kind of snobby <clears throat> mm. that's what i was afraid of Okay. Um, but what I can tell you is she has an item called a bolster that will help you enter their dreams. Um, but only she has access to it. You also didn't hear that from me. Of course. Well, one thing at a time. We'll have to meet this person that can that can scribe a greater make whole scroll for us oh what was her name again oh yeah she didn't you asked about that we didn't get a name oh was... the lady you're talking to right now. yeah what's her yeah. name do you have one for us or do you gotta pull up a random name generator like i usually do <laughs> <laughs> um it's anush anush yes I spelled that wrong, but whatever. I'll put it, put it in my notes. And the queen's name, so we may know how to properly address her, or the princess. I apologize. Oh yes, yeah. so she wishes she was a queen. Boy, boy, she does. Um, her name she too. I'm just here for Anusha's gossip now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't spell her name right. I guess. I guess that's the kind of logical assumption how you'd spell that. And then Princess she, she, she Till? Is that that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Added that to my notes. Mm hmm. Um. But yeah, and then obviously I'll you know do whatever box moving or whatever that she needs me to do. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah. I'm she'll all I'm all on board question. for that. I wouldn't. It wouldn't feel right if she lets if she gives us dinner and lets us stay here and I don't do anything return. I would like. Be, I'd be like fidgeting and like it'd be it'd be bad. Fran would be like really uncomfortable with that situation. So he's glad to have something to do. Okay, uh, do you guys have more questions for her? Um, I mean, I guess I'd ask her about if she's met, like, any other outsiders that have been through here, like, a, a, that she knows of. Any notable outsiders been here? Oh, yes. One of my favorite visitors. His name's Gobi. He's really funny. Oh, we've met Gobi before. Have you? Oh. Yeah. If you see him again, can you tell him to come by? I'll let him know that you miss him. Aw, oh, thanks. We'll probably see him again. Oh, you know him well, then. I've, I've traveled with him a few times. Like, three times, really? I think. Yeah. Wow. A couple times on a boat, and then since he got his merchant license back, we traveled with him in his weird fish form thing that he does. 
he got his merchant license back. Oh, oh yeah. He's been wanting that forever. Yeah, he was really Why happy about it. Why hasn't seen me then? I don't know, but I'll I'll tell him that you that that you miss him and and tell him that he should that he should swing by here. Yeah. Is he busy? Because I mean, he headed off after he dropped us off. He headed off for more business. So yeah, he has been busy since he got his merchant's license back. He's probably trying to make up for lost time when he didn't have his license. Hmm. But I suppose he would. I be hope. Working. I'm I'm sure that once he's caught up. He can probably make some time to come in here. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> I promise I will I will let him know. I will I will give him your message. She seems very appreciative. Do you guys have other questions, maybe? You can ask her anything. Say, have you heard of a group called the Dark Dragons? <gasps> yes. Oh yeah, I heard a rumor that they invaded Aria. Yeah, yeah. Has that's that right. news has that news hap, hap like been spoken of here as well? Invaded Aria. They've been in Aria. Well, yeah, I remember that when we were there that they were they they were just hanging out in Aria anyway, but there was some there was somebody in Spring that said they invaded it. What does Spring know? They're like so far away. You know, That's... I was actually wondering that myself, to be honest, especially considering the source of the rumor. I mean, he did seem a little um off eccentric, <laughs> but <laughs> But still, I mean, I tend to over like to try to overlook people's um, quirks, eccentricities. <laughs> well, I that would be strange. As far as I was aware, they already had control over Arya. Maybe he's just an unhinged, uh, crazy man. I don't know. I do like to think the best of people, but sometimes people do let you down, sadly. <sighs> yes, this is, is true. Possible his news was just really out of date. Like he was talking about when the Dark Dragons first showed up in Aria, whenever that might have been in the past. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Well, it's a pretty far it take us a pretty long time to get to Aria in any case, and we have a yes. lot of stuff we need to deal with over here. So hopefully Aria's doing all right without us. Hopefully grandma is is doing okay over there. And even though we haven't found uh her friend to give this elf bread to. Yeah. Um he got he went missing from the key. From Prima, he was in Prima, and he went missing. Uh, well, we still, we yeah. lost his trail at the Dark Keep. He went to the Dark right. Keep to rescue someone who was probably also there rescuing someone who was also mm. probably there rescuing someone. Right, right tale right. as old as time, and uh, we don't we lost his trail from there. We don't know. We don't know right. where. What happened? If if they even made it to the Dark Keep. We don't even know that. But if they did, we don't know where they went from there. Correct. Uh, yeah. There's there's not a, like a there's not like a, a rescue or a leak happening in Tunlin right now, is there? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, good. Because we'd I'm... have to put a stop to that if there was. Yes. Just be careful here in Tunlin because, I don't know, like the princess, they all are just a little snobby. Um, just stay out of everybody's way. 
Okay. We'll we'll try, but we might have to try to talk to the princess because I really do want to help. I really do want to help Tiffany free her brother Mogu from his solipsism. Mm, that was such a sad story. I do hope you help them. Yeah, we might have to. We might have to try to talk to Princess uh, Shetil, and I don't. I don't know that I have the skills for it, but I'll have to give it my best shot. My honor as a monk of Abel's teeth requires it. Well, good luck, I guess. I don't know. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We'll get that scroll first. Oh, yes, the scroll. Uh, You guys want to go in the morning and I'll take you to the shop. That sounds wonderful. Okay. Uh, Unless you guys have any other questions, she's open to talking. Uh, I think we're good. Mm, This whole dinner thing has been very strange. I've had a great time. No. About, you know, life in Tunland in general. Small talk. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Small thing. She's very chatty. (laughs) Yeah. And if you get her going, she might, like, spill some beans, some, some tea about some of the locals. But it probably doesn't mean anything to you guys. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> "Is like Fredegar, that guy. I it's think a... is having an affair with his, uh, with so and so. Scandalous, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, scandalous. Something like that, yeah." <laughs> All right. Uh, the next day, you guys, um, she gives you breakfast, uh, and it's it's pretty much just like fish and eggs. It's not like chicken eggs. It's more like bird, seagull eggs or something. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, you guys. Get ready, and she will take you to a shop, which is all the way across town. Um, her shop was just a, a parchment paper shop, but she knows yeah. the scroll shop because they uh, they, they yeah, they're the one product. of our customers. Yeah. yeah, do these angels fly? Is their houses like they vertical? do fly? Mm. Okay. Some of them walk. It doesn't. Um, no, there's <laughs> stairs everywhere. Okay, that's fine. That's good. It seems like some of them have preferences of walking or just depending on if they're strolling. Everything's handicap accessible. And by handicap (laughs) accessible, I mean for ones that can't fly because they lost a wing or something. Maybe. Sounds good. (laughs) They're like stairs are stairs are handicap accessible in this in this society. But this place, you know, looks like it was built for like visitors of other races as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it just seems to be that. very prominent right. <laughs> angels. The, the, yeah. Visitors of under, other races, in other words, the handicapped. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> right. The handicapped signs say other races. Yeah. Um, okay, so she takes you guys to a scroll shop, and it looks like uh, the scroll shop contains several different types of magic casters, and so you might be able to get just about anything. I guess we could sell stuff here. This place sounds like it's fairly affluent. So we Maybe, have any yeah. items to sell, this, this would be it. Yeah, we you have could, the yeah. stuff in the party shop. Probably not directly to this shop, but yes. Wow. In general. But yeah, yeah, yeah in just, general, this might be a good place to sell some of our stuff. Like, I have this cold resistance banded mail, for example, that I don't think anybody's ever going to use, and a couple of plus one, plus one scimitars that nobody's ever going to use. Right. So, things like that. But yeah, how much does it cost for a scroll of uh, Greater Make Whole? Mm, that's a good 
<laughs> I guess I can look it up and I can calculate it. I'll have to go find out here. I calculate it in here, I'll have easier than I can by doing the math, actually. Now I think about yeah. it. Yeah. You guys want. um Scroll, custom scroll, add spell. Wizard or. Make the fourth level greater. for both. Yeah, we'd want it as a wizard uh, from wizard because it'd be cheaper, right? In that case, caster level seven is a minimum. So seven hundred uh, gold pieces is the uh, the book cost for a greater make hole. I don't know if it's going to be at the book cost, but that's... oh, wait a second, that's right. Um, I was going to you're going to learn it off. I was going to learn it because why not, right? Yeah. You have so, level four spells access, so but we would need a scroll for you to learn it from. I think was the, the yeah. We need to buy the scroll, and I, I I have to find out. I keep forgetting how much it costs to scribe something into a book. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's that, not that expensive, but no, it's, it's not that. Most of the cost is going to be getting the scroll, but yes, I'll chip right. in on that. I'll pay for yeah, the scribing myself. Help. But uh, yeah, if we want to split the cost on the scroll in general, just let me know how much. Just divide it three ways since Matt's not here. Or sure, we wanna... that's fine. I mean, it's going to be less than five hundred gold. It probably even less than that for oh, that... for the for the scribing part. I yeah. think oh, you're overestimating yeah. how much gold we have. Uh, no, we I know have... you guys have a lot of gold. You so have a lot. We, each... we, I, we have little gold. If we each chip in two hundred thirty-three, then. We have a lot of stuff to yeah, sell. Our gold, like half our, my gold, but yeah. our wealth just isn't if liquid right now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Party fine. wise, you guys have 198 platinum pieces and 3,200. How, how much gold did we? I think I have. I pieces. must have most of the gold pieces in because I'm at 2,400 gold pieces. I only have 500. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So if everybody fun. chips in I, I 200, first, if everybody chips in 233 gold pieces, that covers it. Okay, right, I do that. Okay, but you I guys also have a lot of magic items. Boy has a lot. Yep. Yeah, well. stuff in the party sheet to sell. Sheet to sell. Yeah, yeah, you guys can put that in anytime you want to. Yeah. No, well, now that we've kind of realized this was an affluent place that we can sell stuff at, we'll probably do that as well after we buy mm -hmm. the scroll. Yeah. So. Uh. The the cold iron bastard store, the light fortification chain store. Is anybody gonna take that chain shirt? Or are we selling that? I think Gigi's the only one that can use it. So, and if you don't, want yeah, no, it, I'm not. Okay. And the banded mail, nobody can use because nobody can use heavy armor in this party. Um, and then these scimitars, nobody's using those as well. So, I think those are the only things I'm holding. But let me do a quick look through. I'm keeping the ever smoking bottle because that thing's been. MVP item. Uh, <laughs> well, not really, but there's been a few cases where it's been very useful. I think my favorite part of it, for most useful part it's been, has been in that boat when we had like 12 archers or something. And I'm like, fuck that. Here's some smoke. <laughs> and we don't have archers in our own party, so smoke's, smoke's kind of nice sometimes. Okay, I paid to scribe the scroll. Oh. Into my book. It costs 160 gold in inks. And I'll be right he back. has bought the scrolls, well, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes, and uh, we paid um, uh, 233 Seven. each. Yeah. For a total of okay. 700 gold. For All right, you have the scroll. And you scribed it. Do you need to make a check? I think there is, but I don't think it's that difficult. Hmm. I don't see anything. I know witches do. I don't know if wizards need to. Uh... So I'm just going to uh, 
a spell looks. Here we go. Right, I'm back. While we're in here, I'm actually, I do have an idea. Okay. So, I was thinking about it. Retraining rules, right? For, like, learning a new skill. Like, swapping a skill rank from one skill to a different skill. I think that's what we are what we need to be looking into, right? Um, and that's... Training skill ranks takes... So, it takes five days to do it. Um, what does it cost to retrain a skill rank? Because, like, theoretically, we could, we could probably find somebody that like, could teach me to play the loot properly. And, and you get, should like, be one. more than happy to teach you. Okay. Um, and then, I don't know how, the, how you calculate the cost of retraining a skill. Um, what does it say here? Oh, it's just 10 times your level times number of days required to retrain. So theoretically, that should be 90 times. So it should be 450 gold. That seems like a lot. <laughs> but I guess it's times your level. So it gets more expensive to train skills as you level up. Yeah. Otherwise, it would only be... Uh, so it's five days to retrain a skill rank. If I was level one, for example, it'd be 50 gold. Man, I don't know if I'm willing to part with 450 gold for this, though. <laughs> for something for, like, a single side quest. <laughs> Maybe it's fine. Uh, I mean, like I said, I have a decent amount of money. Because I could, I could retrain a skill. And I think it's a... I think it's a class skill for me. So, one rank would make a lot of a difference. Like, one rank would be a plus five to that skill. So I could, like, retrain one of my knowledge geography ranks or something into that or knowledge history ranks into that if we're willing to spend that much time here too though because that's that's the other thing too i was trying to think of like say we we need to talk to the snobby, the snobby princess yeah which curiously enough means that you retraining one skill point might increase our chances of success there. Yeah. I mean, knowing how things tend to go for me, I'll, I'll do that and then I'll roll like a one anyway or something, but be like, ah. Well, but let's liquidate, our, let, let's get some liquid cash and then we can discuss um, maybe subsidizing your training. Yeah, well, that's the other thing too, is it would take a week to do, or five days to do it. So I don't know if we're planning to like stay here for that long too. So if that's not if we're not planning to stay here, we might have, might want to look into a, another way to approach it. Like maybe maybe we get a music box and just open the music box and be like, here you go. We're or we hire one of the other people around. <laughs> like there's um, oh, I mean there's foreigners here. We might be able to ask one of them to translate for us. Yeah, that's possible. I don't mind spending time here, but that's. Depends on how everybody else feels about it. I mean, I'm cool staying here for the only thing that the only reason I can think of to like not spend the week there if we're really like trying to hurry. But I don't know if I mean, it's already been quite a long time with Mogu being in like his dream state. So like, I don't think another week on top of like the month or whatever that he's been in there is going to be the defining like factor of his fate you know what i mean right so yeah but i'm not an expert on you mm -hmm. know magical induced 
solipsism, so <laughs> I don't know. Well, in that case, then maybe maybe seeing whether or not we can hire a translator might be our best bet then if we want to hasten things a little bit. So um, yeah, uh, we'll go shopping to sell some of our items. And while we're out, we'll see if there is um, a foreigner that uh, looks particularly um, or sounds like they know what they're doing with an instrument. Yeah, maybe we can find like a temporary ally, kind of like Karn. Yeah. Or Gobi or somebody that can like help us. I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe even uh, I don't think that like a new should be willing to necessarily like she's been really helpful already, but I don't think she'd be like wanting to be our translator. She's got like other stuff going on. No, so. she don't want to talk to the snobby princess. No, That's I'm true not. too. Yeah, so we'll find someone else. But we might be able to find, and like you said, a foreigner is probably our best bet because like they don't have any preconceived like prejudices or right. whatever about about this princess who doesn't seem particularly popular at least not with Anoush <laughs> but Anoush is also seems maybe she might be different from other angel folk yeah she might I'm wondering more, about that too she seems like she's probably more uh like likes outsiders more for example <laughs> like because more she's more uh xena xenophilic I guess one of the things that uh crossed my mind was the fact that like um the first person we came across was like awesome scoff Dennis, yeah. So maybe snobby is like the default for everybody, and she's just much more outgoing. So she just yeah, feels yeah. like she's everybody is snobby. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you using your CK terminology, Pluto, and your gregarious Solaris, Solaris terminology, xenophilic. Uh, xenophilic. I mean, they gregarious. do have those. They do xenophilic is a word they use in Stellaris. For tell me, you would use that word if it wasn't in Stellaris. I mean, I probably would. Solipsism's not in either of those games, and I use that word too. Okay, you're just smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> I I use small words. It's actually in Pathfinder as well. You can choose to be. Do they have the spell solipsism in Pathfinder? I know it was a spell in uh, third edition. Mm. No, but being xenophobic. Oh yeah, yeah. No, there's a there's a drawback called xenophobic. In Pathfinder. Oh. And I had that I had yeah. it on uh I had it on Araxi and it gives you a penalty to diplomacy and like bluff and sense motive, I think, on anything that's not your that's not your race, which as a merfolk in Second Darkness was everyone, turned mm -hmm. out. <laughs> Literally everyone, except for the short time where I reunited with my uh my master who uh you know taught me my taught me my arcanist stuff mm -hmm. like uh but i don't i don't don't think i had to roll versus him so but yeah i just had a minus two to all everything i think in 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 uh on the roll 20 sheet i actually just put it as a minus two penalty to those skills because i wanted to take an extra trait but we had to take one of the campaign traits so i took like a campaign trait that did basically nothing for me uh go ahead and roll diplomacy anyway, yeah. and see if you guys can find uh Sure. We'll find the local where the you know the, where the Wow Guru is out. like I don't have I to listen to these well. guys. I don't have yeah. to listen to these guys fumbling around anymore. Yes. Right, we're talking to foreigners, so he's probably actually using his real words. Like he mm -hmm. finds like a uh, finds like where the like a bar or whatever, like a inn slash tavern thing where like out the outlanders go in. There's mm -hmm. angel folk hanging out. Outlander. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Even if we came here with an angel folk character, they'd be like, Outlander. Like, how dare you? That's just the way he greets everybody. <laughs> you guys speak to many foreigners, and each one says, Ask this guy. And then you go to that guy, and they're like, Ask this guy. And you go to that guy. And you just keep going to people. And no matter how diplomatic you guys are, none of them openly want to speak to the princess. Wow. Damn, that's messed up. 
She can't be that bad. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> 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 I guess we're on our own. Now I'm wondering if she's like so snobby that if you offend her sensibilities, she'll just be there like off with their heads. Maybe. Which is Man, why nobody sure wants to risk to. it. Unlucky. So if you want to bribe somebody with something, you can try. I do not want to bribe anyone. Hey, got some elven bread. <laughs> We cannot give up the bread. I know, I know. <laughs> where did we leave well, off with that quest? Like, the person wasn't where we thought they would be, but then did we have any we, leads? We just ran into a dead end at a dark it's a, it's a It's a broken quest. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, yeah, it's a dead end. And so we need sure. to divine, okay. Next level. Probably we would need, yeah, some sort of divination magic to find them. Um, it's like in an MMO, it's like one of those level 5 quests you picked up, but you're now like level 40, and the reward for it is so arbitrary. You just, but it's I don't even think there's a reward holder. for this quest. We just... <laughs> she we let us already stay there. Paid, we've already been paid for this quest. It is our duty to That's, complete yeah. our end of the bargain. Like, we, she let us stay there, and she's like, oh, and by the way, can you deliver this bread? And we're like, absolutely, because you've been so helpful, <laughs> Morris, and like, I mean, I Fran's not gonna say no to something like that. Mm. So yeah, I don't think I don't think. But I mean, maybe when we find them, there'll be an extra award. Well, like, we were also told by her daughter or something that yeah, don't worry too much about the bread; it's not a big deal. Yeah, no, we were actually were told by yeah some the one of the younger relatives of her yes. that was there too. Her daughter, niece, granddaughter, I don't know. But you got the impression from her that the she thought grandma was maybe a little cute. Yeah. But I mean this person does ex or it does exist, or at least did exist. Um, because like we've we followed a trail all over the you dark keep. Yeah. Yes, so. that's right. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's that's the only plan I got then if we keep, since we couldn't find a translator is that I could spend time learning to play the loot better and hope that that's enough to like, Well, would somebody be willing to do it for like not 300 for, gold? Not the full 450? I don't know. 200? 300. Uh two, yeah, 200. 200? 200. Yeah, I'd take that. I'd pay 200 gold for to spend a week learning better loot lessons. And I'll retrain one of my skill ranks into that. I'll retrain. Yeah. You I'll find somebody who says he'll do it for 200. But when you ask him to, like, show his instrument abilities, they're they're really not that much better than yours. What? I mean, he I has mean, a rank in it at least, though, right? So he could still do yeah, yeah. The, do the retrain. Okay, well, we'll do it then. Yeah, a rank one, one is better than zero. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm only retraining one skill rank, so it's not you know it's gonna give me a plus five swing on the skill, but like it's still still not the best, but it's better than nothing. Having a teacher teach you the basics will do a lot for your abilities. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm hoping this is at least enough to not offend the princess because that's that's the first step. If yes. I can, if I can at least not offend her while with my musical abilities, after that, I feel like I can just use my winning personality to to you know to convince her to help us, hopefully. Okay, when do we leave? You want to go now? What? Oh, it's a halfling. He's he's asking you. Do we do we go now? You want to talk to the princess? No, no. I need to learn how to. Oh, I thought we were hiring him. I thought oh. we were getting a tutor. Does he want to like? Is he actually want offering to be the? Uh, if you want a tutor, you can get that a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah. He two hundred gold translate, but you don't oh. think he's gonna be very good at it. But yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Sorry. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I was looking for a tutor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. No. Um. Uh. Anush will teach you. Oh, okay. For two hundred okay. gold. That's fine. No. Not okay. for free. For free. Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh. Well, that's something. I'll. I'll do that. It'll take. Uh, you know, several days. But I will do that and tr retrain one of my knowledge. My knowledge history rank into perform strings. But I don't know if somebody, uh, you know, that's that's going to take several days. So I don't know if there's other stuff we want to do in the meantime. Yeah. Are there any things you guys want to do? Oh, uh, well, backtracking a little bit, but while we're on the boat, I wanted to examine the boat, both magically and mundanely. Maybe you can figure Ooh. something out about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, admire the craftsmanship and figure maybe out. Maybe you can learn about some of the other destinations and go to. Ooh, that's true as well. Some sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if you want to rewind to deal with that. I, I can do that on the trip well, back since we're gonna have another. We five can all, days, I mean right? you can so. do that that's the thing. Oh, like you can while we're waiting. You can yeah. do that while we're waiting and while I'm sure. training to hopefully not completely alienate the princess, <laughs> which I might still okay. do because I only have a plus nine bonus. Oh, uh, but, okay, so, uh, sorry, speaking of that, if we really, really are concerned about that, don't we have the potion of hero points? Which would allow you yeah, to re roll we if we had two to? two of those, I think. Ooh, yeah, I think I have, do I have one in my inventory? I have one, and someone else has Maybe one. Maybe I don't have it. Elixir but... of Light, Luck, is that it? Yeah, that would be it. Okay, I'm willing to uh, donate the elixir of luck to this cause to maximize our chances of uh, okay. not offending the queen. Uh, yeah, because you can use that to give yourself like an additional plus eight bonus or something like that. Like, Fran yeah. could put on the performance of his life. Or it lets yeah. you, you can do that. Uh, you can also use it to reroll, but I think the plus eight is actually better than the reroll. You, you, can, you can add plus four after you roll. Plus eight before you roll. Right. Um, yeah, and I think there's a reroll option in there somewhere. Yeah, well, and tradition like a, a reroll is usually considered equivalent to like about a plus five, but I think using it as a well, it gives me multiple here. It te technically gives me multiple hero points for a set amount of time. Okay, um, I will throw that into the party sheet so you can pick it up here. Okay. I think uh, I think we got a good plan here. You said you're gonna study the boat. Do you want to roll like yes. spellcraft or con? Well, if Guru is not doing well, okay. If I'm allowed to use Arcana, I will do that. Yeah. You know that um, the hold on one second. I see what the DC is for what you do or don't know. You don't know what the magic type is, but you remember identifying um, the other ones before that it had transmutation. You're not sure if these have transmutation, but since it's flying, you're... Okay. you're you, you you might come to that conclusion. Well, um, I'll, I'll see if Gru has time to uh, to help me with this if he's not doing anything else. With but through Arcana your detect magic, you do detect that it is an overwhelming amount of magic. Are you trying to get me you, to identify something? Spellcraft it, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I I mm -hmm. I am me. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you, you can't seem to figure out what the other command words might be. Darn it. Well, you can always try to investigate it later. Yeah, yeah. That was just to sort of fill up some time. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Um, so unless you guys have any other things you want to do, five it was five days, right? Yeah. yeah. Five days uh, to retrain a skill rank. Well, I'll five try days and identify five days, I guess. Right? I can spellcraft for each of those. Oh, what's your modifier? Uh, 12. It's 12. Um... You will never identify it at that level. Wow. Even with the plus two assist? I was going to say, if you, you had You know plus that two. through your detect magic, the aura is overwhelming. Okay. Well. So over time, maybe with practice and skill if and I levels level up and spells and called identify. identify. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the thing is, here's the thing. That's a wizard spell. Yeah. It's That's UMD. all I have to say about that. UMD. <laughs> UMD. You, want, you want me to buy a rod with my non -ex Okay, no, I do have some Rod? Money. What? Or a wand, rather? You want, yeah, a wand. Mm. You want me to buy a wand with my... I have lots of money now. I could. You could. Or, or, and I'm just putting this out there, we could buy a scroll and have Aranax describe it because it's a level one spell. You are That's correct. A spell slot for the. But day. then I will be sure, rolling against my much lower spellcraft. Like, yeah. I don't know. Well, I want to identify is something that generally will last a whole campaign. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Um, full, right? I will buy How much is a this? wand it's of identify. Oh, wait, no, just a guru. Can you use a wand of identify? I'd have to UMD it. What, what's your UMD like? Uh, Non-existent. No, no, I have one rank. One rank. Okay, one rank means at least you can roll. I can do that. So you need to roll a 12 to make it work. Yep. I will buy you a wand I, of Well, I'll, I'll buy identify. the one I have money. It's too late. I've already spent the money. I've taken it off my sheet already. Um, I'll if present I fail, it to you as I a gift. Expend, do I expend the charge? If you fail uh, it, no. It does not expend the charge. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. But if and you roll one, it disables the wand for the day. So. For the, that's right. But I can just keep trying as long as I don't roll a one. That's yes. work. Yes. That is why oh, it's this not is, This bad. is fine. Okay. And if you... If you get the one thing only applies if you roll one and fail it. So if you ever get a high enough UMD, you actually can just auto cast it and you don't even have to roll. Yes. That's late game stuff though, but but yeah. Okay, cool. I mean I know my argument. I don't see that like, like I don't game, see any but... reason to put more points in UMD. It depends on what you want to do with it, but yeah. Like if yeah. and if you don't I have want a lot to use of... a wand of identify. <laughs> Yeah, if you just want to use it for one of identify, it probably doesn't matter too much to put more ranks in it. Um, and also, you don't get a lot of skill ranks as an oracle anyway. I mean, a secret yeah, you get a little bit more, but, but yeah. On my arcanist, I was getting a lot because I was an int-based caster and I had like 30, 30 intelligence. So I was like, all right, I'll just max this out. And I got to the point where I could auto-cast any wand with, uh, with a Raxi, so... But yeah. Did you do UMD on Wiz Pops? I don't even remember. I don't think you did. But... No, I don't think you did. He I didn't just, need I to. Um, I did not do UMD on Wiz Pops. You did Pops. more knowledge skills, I think. Yep. I don't think I got mm. to the point where I could auto cast spells on Nimitap until we got to like the last level or two. Yeah. That's about what it normally is. Like it was yeah. the same thing with the Rax. It's the end of the campaign. I was able to do it. And same with uh, Nizo. I think I did the same thing. I think I put UMD ranks in Nizo, and at the end of the campaign, I could auto cast from scrolls or uh, scrolls, uh, some wands. Scrolls are a little bit harder because they scale based off the caster level of yeah. the scroll. Um. So, uh, go ahead, Guru. Give this a try. Your shiny new wand. My gift from me to you. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what day it is, but I assume it's a day I can use it. It gives you if. Oh, you mean he tried to spellcraft? Yeah, twenty. He's assuming it's the next day. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. The next. Um. Looks like I did it. Yeah, one charge off. 
And it's plus 10 to the spellcraft plus check. 10. This is 49 charges. 10, and I will uh, assist you as well for another plus surely, 10. Surely, guys, I will not roll a 1 here. It, wa it wasn't a 1. 33, is 33 enough? I don't think it is. Because Seeker said it was impossible and I didn't roll over a 10. Yeah, What's you have to roll higher your... than a 10. You, it's a 12, right? It's 12 normally, yeah. So a 20 plus 12 plus 10 is your max. Yep. Okay. Um... It may not be worth me actually using these identified charges until we have more things to identify, and I can just no. Lump it when in. you get to use the identify spell, it allows you to identify three times. Is that three times the same item? No, you can't do three times the okay. same items. It's still the no. same limitation. So that's why it's like I don't think I should use it unless I'm identifying other things at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to go through all the charges on okay. this one. Thirty-one thing. is not enough. Is thirty-three enough? Yeah, because I was helping him for an extra plus two, which isn't in Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong chart here. Let me see. Uh... Oh, wait, what's the caster level of 10th level spells? Uh, It's pretty high. Isn't it? I mean, 10th level, level spell? spells don't actually exist in Pathfinder. Um, Epic? Epic? They're 20 but level spells, yeah. It might be 21, yeah. Okay, then yeah, that's not enough. Okay. Well, um... Yeah. Anyway, now we know, and we got a wand out of the deal, so it's all good. Yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd probably have things, to spend yeah. a couple of charges. Um, it is doable, though, with the wand. I, yeah, I think we just wait till we get other items to try and do it with it, unless... I mean, I could do another couple charges, but I want to just, like, do five charges of the wand on this one item over right. five days, you know. It's a level of importance also. Consider that. I mean, it might be... It might be nice to know some of the other places it can go. Maybe it's somewhere we haven't right, been Right, right, right. But whether or not you need to know today or oh, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I feel like these things actually can go to Gust, for example, even though they don't use them to go to Gust. Um, you know, maybe it's possible because you did because see we saw boats, some of the but... boats in the bridge. Uh, they were yeah. like the same as this boat. Well, so I could have think... sworn that the people in Gust said that occasionally there was a boat that came in from Spring, or somebody I thought told us that they Although did say that occasionally a boat does come in. Yes, but they also said that um, most of the time people come from the bridge. Right. Okay, but mm -hmm. it's very okay. rare that they. Come. And so now that you met the to... elves, you kind of have a sense of somebody there in spring maybe knows a word to get one get these boats to go to gust in that case then. Even though the, or... the mayor didn't something else, maybe. Right. I mean there could be another yeah, there could be something else that we're not we don't know about, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe there's a different mm -hmm. maybe there's someone outside the village that has one of these boats. Maybe it's not even one of these boats, but it's a different boat. Ooh. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think uh, after I learn how to play the play the loot better, and I'll I'll drink one of the hero potions that we have, and we're gonna we're gonna go all in on trying to convince the princess to help us. Okay, before you drink the hero potion, game master's advice: at least approach the uh, castle. Okay. Yeah, I mean it lasts for an hour, so I wouldn't. I would probably drink it very shortly before playing. I hate for I you to waste it. it, though. You don't think the DC is going to be that high? Because it's when great. you guys get to the castle, yeah, I was going to say it sounds like there's going to be something that happens first. Well, if something happens before I get a chance to play, because I'd literally probably drink it right before I play. Like I'm not gonna. I think that's because I, I could be like, hold up, I need to drink my. Don't worry about Are it. Are you just going to drink it before? Because you you gotta ask to seek audience 
for yeah. her. So are you going to drink it to the people you're Oh, asking? no, no. I'm no, going to no. wait until we're actually talking to the princess. Yeah. Okay, so when you guys get to the castle to ask to seek audience, you are denied. What? Okay, well, maybe I need to drink it to just get an audience. Yeah. In that case. Well, maybe we can just try, like, normal diplomacy they to get an audience. They say to you that the princess drinking. is not seeing anybody and will never be seeing anybody, especially of your like. Wow, that sounds wow. ominous. She's Rude. never going to see anybody. We need to turn into dragons on them. Well, that's that's That'll fine. That'll teach them. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll say, all right, then, and we'll walk away, and I'll be like, all right, guys. We're going to go talk to her. We're going to kidnap the princess. We're not going to kidnap her. But... <laughs> but... Be careful. Remember, they can read minds. Right. Well, we walk a good distance I, away. I, yeah. yeah, jokingly. Haha. Just kidding. And yes. Threats to the queen. They no can problem. Only read minds <laughs> if you play music at them first. So, oh, um, you know, after we wait long enough for like, I'm pretty sure they're not able to read our minds at the moment because we're far and we're a good di- distance away from her. And then we'll we'll talk and we'll say, all right, I think our plan is is we're going to we're going to sneak in and talk to her directly. Yeah, yeah. I we don't need figure. permission to talk to someone. That's something <laughs> I that's something I've learned. I can talk to people without permission from other people to talk to them. And if she doesn't want to talk after we find her and ask her to talk to us, then 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 we will choose to not talk to her uh, after having already talked to her. So we're going to go on a stealth mission? Austin stealth? What? Uh, yes. <laughs> Boy's uh, looking at you confused. like huh? We're going to do our version of a stealth mission. Which is probably not going to be. I mean, I'm I'm pretty stealthy at least. I have a plus ten to stealth, which isn't bad. But um, so before we get too far into that, did, did, are are we assuming that we actually tried our best to diplomacy the guards to find a way to? Is there anything we can do? It's an uh, a matter of utmost urgency. Um, maybe, you know, did did um... we? It seemed like they were very. Um, I mean, I can roll a stunts motive as well, but yeah, yeah, go ahead and. From what roll I gathered, stunts. it sounded like they were not willing to even even entertain the idea of giving us an audience. Okay, the, uh, like, I just wanted to make sure correct. that it seemed like they okay. weren't going to entertain the idea at all. I and that to makes sure me we almost wonder if it. If it actually is it not possible to get one because maybe she's not even there or yeah, like, you know that's not just crossed my mind like too. That. Or you know the dark dragons have her held hostage or some such. Thing. But I don't know. We need to we need to go find out, and we're not. And I don't think that like I I'm pretty good at at talking to people, but I don't think these guys are going to tell us. I don't okay. think they even know what's going on. I think there's there's layers of bureaucracy here that we're not that. I don't think we have the time to. I mean, we've already spent a week learning to play the loot. <laughs> um, I don't. I think we need to cut straight to the chase here. And and sneak into the castle. I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. All right. I don't know if that's something. I mean, maybe that's something for next session. But yeah, I was gonna ask Secret. Um, when are we playing on ending session? Because I have people waiting on me for doing a Lost Ark raid. I just oh don't my know god! When I'll be Zigarian. there. Well, I'm, I'm not Is saying this... I need to go now. I'm just, I'm just saying I'd like to let them know when I will be ready. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fair. I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jeez. All right, friend. Well, how do you suppose you're going to go about that? <laughs> um, we're going to find somewhere where I can Okay. Well, we're going to we're going to we're going to scope it out. We're going to walk around there. We're going to we're going to look at the at the royal palace as it were, and I'm going to see if there is any point of egress that makes sense, like maybe climb into a window or something. 
Oh, That's the first okay. step. We're gonna we're gonna scope the area out. Sure, roll me a perception. All right, you see some windows you can go through. Um, it doesn't really look like there's patrols, but you don't really know what's going on in the inside of the place. All but, right. Uh, there are some open windows that you could get through. Okay. Is there anywhere that looks like it's more likely to be the royal suite? Um, if you like fully 360 scope the place, yeah, but not really near the window. Okay, so I'd have to like navigate through some part of uh, like it's it's not somewhere that's easily reachable from the outside. Yeah, you can't make just sense. go straight there. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But okay, um. Then I think my plan is probably to try to climb up and sneak in there. But uh, anybody coming with me, or is this something I'm just <laughs> gonna try on my own? Like I, I, my plan is I'm gonna climb in there and I'm gonna sneak through the corridors and try to find somewhere where I can hopefully find Princess uh, Sahil. Did I say her name right? Is that Sahil? Shet Shetil, uh, whatever. Shetil, yeah. I'll find Princess Shatil and hopefully be able to talk to her directly. Well, to be honest, do you want to maximize your chances of actually succeeding? I mean, I could drink the potion of of uh, luck if that's or elixir of luck if that's what you're talking about. We also no. What I mean is, I two things. I have an oil of invisibility, and nobody else comes with you. That will maximize your chances of succeeding. Yeah. Also, if boy, anybody else comes with you, that will minimize your <laughs> chances of succeeding. I mean, boy, turning into something really tiny could also. Oh, that work. would be fine. Yeah, he would he probably could, like, have. He might have a higher stealth if he turns into something that's small enough. Well, you could tuck him into your pocket too, so mm -hmm. it's not even an issue. Yeah. So probably I bring boy with me, which means probably we should hold it off till next session, <laughs> when when Matt's here to actually play boy. That's fair. So next session, then we're gonna do a stealth operation to with the princess. With Brandon Boy, probably. Uh, try. Uh, that's assuming she's even here. I might just be yeah. wandering around and she's you not never... here because, because and that's I... why she won't meet anyone. But I'm not very in... stealthy, and we'll Guru... be the getaway car. The Gru is even less stealthy because he actually wears armor, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he could take the armor off for his stealth mission, but I don't no. know. If, I don't know if I've ever naked. I don't even know if I've ever seen him take his armor off. I think he sleeps no. in it. No, yeah. I do take it off to sleep. Actually, well, uh... is it medium armor? I guess you do take it off, yeah, because you don't have endurance. It's... You don't have the endurance feats, You'd so you would like have fatigued. to, yeah, 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 yeah. avoid something. being fatigued unless you're casting restoration. I'm trying to day. think back. Like, I'm pretty sure we had a nighttime fight once where I'm like, oh, I don't have my armor on. Yeah, yeah. you know, I think you're right. Uh, trolls attacked us when we were camping near the uh, yeah. ascent to the ridge. Yeah, very you scared. Don't have armor. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't come up much, but yeah, I, I have been. I think the thing is, too, is I get up so early. Like, I'm a morning person to do my meditation in the morning, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, right. I probably put on my armor. I don't. I wonder if Fran's a morning. I don't think Fran's a morning person. He probably stays up really late chatting with people and then sleeps in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I feel like Fran is is definitely is like the kind of person that would sleep until like 10 p.m. or, or 10 a.m. or whatever. I mean, not 10 p.m. That'd be ridiculous. 10 a.m., 10 or 11 or whatever. Like everyone else is up. He's like, sorry, I just it, my bed was so comfortable. I was working so hard late through the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll stay up till like one in the morning, but but then you'll sleep in till sleep in pretty one late. in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's that bad. No, he's... no. There was stuff to do, but yeah, <laughs> I I feel like Fred probably is. He was he would be the last person up at back at the monastery a lot of times. But yeah, and he keeps he keeps. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. Like he has this little journal where he writes down like his the good deeds he's done because that's what you got. His it's like his thesis. He has to turn in to become a become a master at the monastery. Like these are the <laughs> these are the good deeds I did while I was out traveling. 
is this enough to qualify me for to become a master at the the uh monastery of the whatever <laughs> the name of that mountain range is right what's the name of that monastery or that mountain range it's uh, written down on there oh yeah uh, abel's teeth yeah but yeah maybe we'll, maybe we'll go to Franz monastery someday you know it's called abel's teeth because it's kind of jagged almost like it was like a big monster's jaw and teeth oh yeah Oh, is it in those mountains? I was thinking it was in the mountains along the coast of the desert. Uh, mm. oh, it's uh, Abel's Teeth. I think okay. It's that, I think it's that little green marker. That mark is it actually was. it? Okay. I think that cool. was it, yep. But yeah, the desert was where you guys met me, and I traveled over yeah, there. Yeah, I guess I was, yeah, I didn't oh, realize yeah. you had traveled that far from your monastery. I thought oh, it was yeah. in the nearby mountains. Well, no, I I traveled with Gobi before I met you guys. He kind of looped around and yeah, did some yeah, other okay. things. And then I think I down. went to some of those islands to the north of uh, perhaps like uh, north of Abel's Teeth there. But yeah, I, I assume. I don't know if there's even anything there in terms of like relevancy we, to the story or anything, but yeah, I think I probably went to those areas and then and then went to the desert. That was like my second stop. <laughs> so I hadn't I'd been traveling. Well, for a you so bit. you went to Arya first, right? Because you got off the boat with Gobi, or you were you were on a boat with Gobi. Well, that I traveled on a boat with Gobi. I don't know if we went to Arya though. That's fair. That yeah. I that, think when yeah. we went to Arya with the when I went to Arya with a party, that was my first time being there. But yeah. but I traveled with Gobi a few other places, like like I said, probably smaller stuff that smaller towns and whatnot that we haven't been into in in the campaign because they haven't been important but some like right saying, there, probably there are there's like there's existence. probably like stuff north of abel's teeth like on that island even though or that peninsula or whatever and then those islands to the north of abel's teeth over there like we haven't been in any of those stuff other than mm -hmm. i think there's one that we went to that we stopped at but it was like an it was just like a remote one there wasn't anybody living on that one on their way to prima from from aria like when the boat yeah. exploded, when we went to one of those islands. But I think, like one of those islands, maybe there's some uh, settlements on some of those islands that I went to. Yeah, there's settlements uh, where you don't see towns labeled. Then yes, there, there are. There might still like, be some. Yeah. Well, like I yeah. see a house, for example, on this map here. I don't know if that's something um, specific that you have in mind for, but maybe there's like a settlement. There, there is something to. there. You haven't been on that island specifically. <laughs> okay. Not that particular one, but yeah. Um, but but if you want, you can roll a diplomacy, and I can tell you whether or not you heard rumors in the monastery about that. Sure. Uh, if I can find diplomacy on my sheet, it's alphabetical, but you know, it's okay. been a long day. <laughs> um, rumors that you know about that island is supposedly a, a woman hermit lives there and she's a weapons collector she likes to collect like uh and or like old ancient weapons that um the ancestors used to use or uh any weapons that look really cool or uh something okay. she's never had before um so if we find something that's particularly exotic maybe bring it to her well, maybe we can... like your dagger for example would be particularly exotic yeah i don't think we're yeah. <laughs> planning to give that one up yeah. but, no. um, that yeah we found uh i mean that's the thing too maybe maybe she would want she would maybe give us more money for things like that that bastard sort of be sold here theoretically but that's a long ways away from where we are right now so hmm. All right, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how this stealth mission goes. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I I do have ranks in stealth. It's only four ranks, but it's higher now with the dex belt, so that that actually helps a lot because that pushes my dex up to sixteen. But yeah, so I have a yeah. plus ten plus ten stealth. Yeah, mine's seven. Like I could take off the armor and go with you, but I, I mean I also don't care to leave Star Fox alone. I mean. Uh, Aaron Axis. I will, I will be removing my loot. I know how to play it better. 
and also I have good diplomacy. So if Are I get caught, the castle? if I get caught, yeah, I might be able to talk my way out of it as well. Um, that's my backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> talk my way out of it. But yeah, sure. it's uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, we might find out she's not even here, but I feel like that's that's what we want to do, right? Like we need to we need, we're we're, we're we here do. in Tunlin. We want I think we want to try to help uh yeah. mogu while we're here um and if it turns out that it leads towards another bread trail crumb so be it maybe it'll converge with the the elf bread trail now not that erin axis would ever suggest this but we were told basically that it was an item that she carries that would be able to help him so in theory we just need to we just the item. get the item yeah i thought the same thing when that first came up and i'm like yeah but also i wouldn't want to just yeah, yeah. The, the, item. the two lawful people if i was playing as a different character i'd be like mm, why don't we just take it but yeah not did as you fan. guys hear what the bolster or the item was it was a bolster do you know what a bolster is no it's like uh, a body pillow almost it's a, it's it's like a round uh pillow oh, okay yeah i just looked it up on google yeah uh, Usually firm for back or arm support or for decorative application. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, all right. Well, I had fun. No combat, but great. I had, <laughs> yeah, I had a good fine. time. I got to do Fran things. So, Fran things. <laughs> yeah. We made a lot of progress. We identified items. That's what I found. If I make characters that are more uh, eccentric in, in ways, they're they're fun to play. The belt actually uh, put my. I actually have the highest health in the party now with the belt. Before I didn't. I had like tied. I was around the same amount of health as boy. But what? You have, have more. Uh, you have more experience health than me. I have slightly more health than you now. Well, this. Of... Let me make sure I got my level up. Aha! You forgot your level up. Aha! So you do have a little bit more than me, probably. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Then. I'm still winning. <laughs> What's your constitution then? Is it like twenty? Uh, twenty. Okay, yeah. I only have eighteen. Oh my, that's so much. I only have eighteen constitution, and monks are a D eight health class, yeah. I think, which is low for a marshal. But it is yeah. rare. No, it's a D ten. It's a D ten. It is. A is D10, it D ten? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's I have I have toughness as well, right? Con. Yeah, you have toughness, and, and you're probably assuming. using your favorite class yes. bonus for health, and I'm not. That's I'm using correct. my favorite class bonus for key points. Um, oh. In, yeah, so, okay, interesting. Because yeah. you get one fourth key point per for a favorite class bonus. So, yeah, one every four. And I was like, mathematically, that's kind of strictly better than health because it's equivalent to a feat at level eight, whereas uh, you have to put it in health for every single level for your entire lifetime in order for it to be equivalent to a feat on a for health, right? Because that's equivalent to yeah. toughness. But so I was like, I could take extra key as a feat at some point. But if I just take toughness and do uh, favor class bonus key point, that's better. But then I haven't actually taken toughness. So, yeah. But, yeah, I might take toughness at some point if there was a spot where I'm like, I might have taken extra key here otherwise. I don't know. So, it's like, the, the value on the one-fourth key point per level is, like, yeah, but yeah. The, the the key point is also flexible too, right? Because you can Correct. power a lot of your abilities with it. So yeah, I can use key points for extra attacks. I can use key points for um, what other abilities? Do I have key points. I think this is depending main one on what for. key powers you have. It powers some key. of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can use it for the shield bonus too. That's the other one I use it for. Um, to give myself a plus four. As an immediate action. That's the other thing too. I could actually, if I ever get a chance, I can retrain that to the um the second level version of it that's a plus six shield bonus, cost one key point as well. Mm -hmm. And you don't need the first one as a prereq. So I was like, oh and when I found that I was like, oh dang, I actually probably shouldn't have taken it, but oh well. Um so at some point I might want to retrain it so that I have that instead. Um I think it'll be fine because I took some key points afterwards that I theoretically could have taken at a lower level, so it won't mess with because you can't. Yeah, theoretically it should be fine. 
because I could technically it almost technically be retraining two in that sense. But um, but I'd have to. That's probably something if like if we ever have a trip where I go back to my monastery or something like that, maybe then that's, that's when I would do that. Um, but the level three version of it costs two key points though for the for the key shield that gives you plus eight shield bonus. So I probably won't do that. But the plus six and having it be the same amount of key point cost. It's like the plus eight shield bonus. Yeah, it's expensive and key, but uh, how long does it last? One round. Oh, OK. It's an okay. immediate action, though. So you. Yeah. Uh, so I've, yeah, it's mental barrier. So I've been using that the plus four right now, but getting it as a plus six, I probably would for only still only one key point. I that okay. strictly better, but but it requires higher level to get it. And I can't remember if I took. I think when I took it, I only had access to mental barrier one anyway. But, but like I said, the next key power I got, I took one that was also at that like a lower level key power. So I think I'm still fine because basically I'd be retraining two key powers, like retrain the key power, the mental barrier into the one I took later, and then the one I took later into the advanced mental barrier. Um, are we done? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Be free. Okay. Go raid. Go do your yeah. raid. People <laughs> waiting on me, so... No problem. I would... I don't think I'm going to play my League of Legends today. You should play Lost Ark, Pluto. It's free now. Yeah, but I've been I've been grinding the rank. I gotta get to, I gotta get to gold, at least. Oh, uh, okay. I don't want to be your silver <laughs> You are my silver friend. I, I made it to plat, Pluto. Are you proud of me? I'm your plat friend. Oh, no. I got to get to plat now, then. Yeah. Uh, I don't I mean, know if I have the patience for it. But I'm not playing any more league. Probably. I know I'm in. I know I'm in gold for MMR. I'm at that. Like I said, I'm in. I'm in silver one at the moment, but I get plus 26 for wins and minus 10. for Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like, You'll I'm, just get there. I